What if I told you that one tiny tool in your toolbox holds the secret to building everything from bicycles to skyscrapers? That tool is the Allen wrench, and today we are diving deep into the science that makes it so powerful. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Objectified, the channel where everyday items get their moment in the spotlight. Today, we are exploring the Allen wrench, a simple piece of metal that has shaped the modern world in ways you might not expect. Over the next 25 to 30 minutes, we will uncover its origin story, track its evolution, marvel at its innovations, and even dig into some wild facts that will make you see this little tool in a whole new light. So grab a seat, maybe even an Allen wrench of your own, and let us get started. The Allen wrench story begins over a century ago. Back in the early 1900s, a man named William G. Allen steps onto the scene. He works for the Allen Manufacturing Company in Hartford, Connecticut, a business focused on making screws and fasteners. Around 1910, William patents a new type of screw with a hexagonal socket in its head. This is not just any screw. It needs a special tool to turn it, and that tool becomes the Allen wrench we know today. Why does this matter? Because before this, screws rely on flatheads or Phillips heads, which often slip under pressure. The hexagonal design grips tighter and lasts longer. That simple idea sparks a revolution in how things are built. The Allen wrench itself starts as a basic L-shaped piece of steel. Its shape is no accident. The hexagon matches the screw perfectly, and the L gives you leverage to apply force. Back then, workers in factories and garages start using it to assemble machines faster and more reliably. It is not flashy, but it gets the job done. That practicality lays the foundation for everything that comes next. Fast forward a few decades, and the Allen wrench begins to evolve. By the mid-20th century, industries like automotive and aerospace demand tools that can handle serious torque. The original L-shape works fine, but engineers want more. Enter the ball end Allen wrench. This version, introduced in the 1960s by a company called Bondis, has a rounded tip. That small tweak lets you insert it at an angle, up to 25 degrees off axis. Suddenly, tight spaces are no longer a problem. You can reach screws in awkward spots without breaking a sweat. Materials change too. Keza early Allen wrenches are steel. But as technology advances, manufacturers experiment with alloys like chrome vanadium. This makes them stronger and more resistant to rust. Some even get a black oxide coating to reduce wear. Then there is the foldable set. Picture a Swiss army knife, but for Allen wrenches. By the 1980s, these multi-size kits become a staple in toolboxes everywhere. One tool now handles a dozen sizes, from tiny 1.5mm wrenches to beefy 10mm ones. Innovation keeps pushing the design forward, making it more versatile with every step. So why does the Allen wrench matter beyond the workshop? It becomes a symbol of modern design. Think about flat pack furniture. Companies like IKEA owe their success to this tool. In the 1950s and 60s, furniture makers realized they can ship products in pieces, saving space and money. The Allen wrench makes assembly easy for anyone. No need for a full toolkit, just one little hex key, often included in the box. That shift changes how we buy and build things at home. It pops up in pop culture too. It is the unsung hero of DIY and problem solving. Cyclists love it for quick bike repairs. Engineers rely on it for precision machinery. Even astronauts carry them into space. The Allen wrench is small, but its reach is massive. It connects the dots between industrial strength and everyday life. Ready for some mind-blowing trivia. First off, the Allen wrench has a nickname, the hex key. That is because of its six-sided shape, but here is the kicker hexagons are nature's favorite shape. Bees use them for honeycombs because they maximize space and strength. The Allen wrench taps into that same geometry for efficiency. Coincidence? Maybe not. Here is another one. The world's largest Allen wrench is over six feet long. It was built as a promotional stunt 
but it proves how iconic this tool has become. On the flip side, the smallest ones are so tiny they fit screws and eyeglasses. And get this, during World War II, Allen screws and wrenches help build military equipment faster than ever. Their reliability saves time and lives. Oh, and one more some people collect vintage Allen wrenches like stamps. There is a whole subculture out there obsessed with these little guys. Who knew? So there you have it, the science behind the Allen wrench. From a clever idea in 1910 to a global powerhouse, this tool proves that small things can make a big difference. Its hexagonal magic, evolving design, and quiet influence remind us that genius often hides in plain sight. Next time you tighten a screw or assemble a shelf, give that Allen wrench a nod. It has earned it. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the Allen wrench, hit that subscribe button and join the Objectified crew. We unpack the hidden stories of everyday objects every week, and we would love to have you along for the ride. Drop a comment below tell us your favorite Allen wrench moment or what object you want us to explore next. Thanks for watching everyone. This has been Objectified, where the stuff around us gets its due. See you in the next video. Until then, keep tinkering, keep learning, and keep appreciating the little things that hold our world together. Bye for now.